morning, good morning. <laughs> this is a pretty emotional day for me because I am actually home. Guys, I'm in at the watershed where I trained for the Appalachia Trail. And um, today's Saturday and I came home. Mark picked me up in Duncannon, Pennsylvania on Tuesday morning about 8.30. I um I couldn't keep my weight on and I started to feel just kind of weird dehydrated even though I was drinking so much water and electrolytes um, I just stopped wanting to eat and Gandalf and Survivor were worried about me and they uh, were actually gonna call Mark and say I think she needs to come home for a while so I called him and I'm home. <laughs> and it's really emotional. <laughs> Gandalf and Survivor are still hiking. They're probably close to Port Clinton right now as I'm filming. And they were the best tramley <laughs> that I could have ever asked for. I, uh, I hiked from Georgia to Duncannon, PA, which was 1150 miles, and I started February 14th with Mako. Um, and you know what? <laughs> it just feels like it's enough. Enough for now. We'll see if I do finish it or not. I'm not sure. I had an amazing journey. Amazing, amazing journey. And I I don't know, you can't even put into words what the Appalachia Trail is or the views and the, <laughs> the scenery. I think my favorite so far state is um, Virginia. But boy, I'll tell you, I know that going north is gonna be incredible for Survivor and Gandalf. Where's my boy? There he is. <laughs> Today we are, I just have a little light pack on with water. And the watershed where I hike, I took some, I took a lot of, I did all my training in here for the AT. And this road is a tote road that goes four and a half miles all the way up to another dirt road and back. And from this road are trails all over the place. And this trail is, uh, I mean, I just took a couple of pictures of some horses. So you can ride horse in here, mountain bike, hike, run, do anything. You know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful area. And it, it is above Norris Lake, so where I live. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful place and it's eight miles from my house so I'm going to be back in here hiking but this is actually the first day I felt like going for a hike I have been pretty exhausted so I've been sleeping lots and eating lots and <laughs> enjoying Mark oh my gosh it feels so good to when you know you've done the right thing it's right because it is so good to be home and so good to be able to be with my family and so anyway I wanted to let you know that I am in Tennessee <laughs> hiking my woods and I'll kind of keep you posted I'll take some videos of the lake we're gonna go out on the pontoon today that's my another one of my happy places but I tell you, I, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciated all the support and the love that you gave me on trail. But I, <laughs> I had to listen to my body, and that was a good thing. Sometimes you fight things, and you force things, and I couldn't do that this time. So I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I hiked. <laughs> Along, <laughs> well, I hiked through Georgia and North Carolina and Tennessee and Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, 
and a beautiful part of Pennsylvania. So anyway, till next time, I will see you later. I wanted to add something to what I was already talking about, but I think the thing, things I will remember the most about the Appalachian Trail are the people. The kindness of strangers really to us and the unconditional giving. They would just give of themselves um, and had no agenda. You know, we stayed a lot of it. Mark, the first half, Mark would come. And so we stayed in hotels, but then there were times, I didn't stay in very many hostels, but Station 19 we stayed and Dave kind of saved us from the from the cold, cold, cold. And, and then uh, threw it out hostile, threw it all hostile. Pastor Bob, what a nice man. And Sister Tina. And then our, the last place I stayed was the Assembly of God Church in Duncannon. And that was so wonderful. We were so hot and we had free shower and it's all donation base and you know, they had everything a hiker could want. So really when I think back on what I'll remember, I'm not gonna remember my feet being cold or <laughs> the snow I hiked through on the way to Hot Springs or all the rains and the Smokies. I'll remember the people and the sunshine when I was frozen <laughs> and just my tent. I loved sleeping in my tent, but I, uh, I just wanted to add that, that the people are what uh, made the difference for me in the quiet in the woods. I'll, this woods, I have owls, so I'll be able to hear the owls, not the whippoorwills, but I do remember those nights sleeping in the, my tent and Survivor and I laughing about the whippoorwills that kept us awake. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I hope everyone out there is having a wonderful day. And, and I'm so thankful to my friend John Alden, too, who came and hiked with me in Maryland. That was such a gift. And my friend Russ, <laughs> number two pencil, I'm cheering you on and Denise, cheering you on, girl, and all my other through hikers that I met along the way. So many wonderful people. Yeah. <laughs> so this is to all of you, <laughs> and I really, really love you all. Take good care.